The lads and I went to the Hooters downtown so that you don't have to. I'll be honest, I never really understood how this place had stood the test of time. I've never really seen anyone go in there, but today was the day I roll up my sleeves. It was time the homies and I see this bad boy for ourselves. As you'd probably suspect, the inside of this joint is designed like a stereotypical man cave, littered with pictures of well-endowed women, sports signage, and, of course, the echoes of Guns N' Roses being blasted from the Hooters jukebox. But to be honest, it was the competitive lumberjacking on all the TVs that really did it for me. How do you guys be like Jack? Yeah, it's just like going really on to <laughs> I will say, despite the rather predictable clientele and some rather suspect washroom signs, the wings at this establishment were pretty damn good. We did the 50-piece original style Hooter wings in medium and lemon pepper rub, and well, we had a field day. Hey, 50 wings and three beers later, the fellas were feeling confident enough to try some of the Hooters original merch, and not gonna lie, the visors go pretty hard. I mean, <laughs> if like me you were judging Hooters strictly based on its looks, then buddy, <laughs> You've got to dig deeper and come to terms that Hooters is actually pretty sick. I'm just hoping I qualify for the Wall of Fame. That is Cause you know it is. He probably owns the joint. <laughs> I feel like this goes without saying, but you can find this Hooters at 280 Adelaide Street West. Great food, you go great back. drinks. I would go back, I would bring I my back. family. A 10 out of 10. 